Welcome to today's Grow It Green. I'm joined virtually by Emma Erler from UNH Cooperative Extension. And Emma, we're going to talk about a plant that doesn't need any soil or a group of plants. And that seems like an oxymoron to begin with. It's unusual, certainly. So uh, I w today I wanted to talk about air plants, uh, which is what I have right here. It's a group of plants in the genus Tillandsia, which these are actually in the bromeliad family. So they would be growing in tropical locations attached to trees, rocks, maybe logs. So they're not growing in the soil at all. They're just attached to other things. Now, it seems that uh, growing in tropical and what we have going on here in New Hampshire at this point in time uh, doesn't really jive. So are we looking at maybe a certain type of environment where you need to grow these in your home? Absolutely. So these are definitely a plant that's going to live inside your home. In the summer, they could maybe go outside, uh, but you're going to want to keep them in a warm room, someplace where the temperature is preferably over 65 degrees and uh, in a bright sunny window. So if you have a south facing window, west facing window, that's perfect for these. Now you can find those plants just about anywhere. What's the attraction to them? Is it a uh, different kind of leaves? Is it flowers? Uh, what is the attraction to for these plants? They do flower if conditions are just right, uh, but I've had this one for four years and it hasn't bloomed for me yet. I think the attraction is just how unique and interesting they look. I mean, they're cool. You can display them in, in glass globes or just have them sitting on a windowsill. It's just a, an interesting plant to add to your collection if you're into house plants. Now, what are some of the things that I've got to watch out for if I have one of these plants? I mean, they sound like they're pretty easy to take care of. Watering is really the most important thing. So with these, you really need to water them at least a couple of times a week. Uh, one option is to spray them with a misting bottle. But what I like to do and what I find works a little bit better is to actually soak them in a bowl of water at least once a week for about 10 to 20 minutes. And then I let it drain because you don't want excess water to build up in those leaves and cause rot. I let it drain and I put it back on display. All right, and you're good for another week. And hopefully that'll give some people some ideas when they walk in and maybe they'll have another plant and obviously they last for a little bit as well. All right, that's it for today's Grow It Green.